Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me again today. And this story is really interesting. And it comes from the north of England in Liverpool. And it's a very big case, so there's people from all over, from Liverpool, Merseyside, and also the East Midlands, so you've got Nottingham, Leicester. And thank you to all our Northern subscribers as well that watch the channel all the time. We've got some Manchester news coming and also Leicester news underway. This story actually involves England football legend Paul Gascoigne's former football agent and also a lot of other people. We'll get into his involvement in the story very soon. But initially it started when a Merseyside drug dealer was raided by the police and they discovered videos on his mobile phone that showed his lavish lifestyle. This is the most recent part of this story. It goes back to May. Of course, with coronavirus, we've been very backdated with stories. Kevin Duncalf was arrested last summer when police targeted a drugs gang that was flooding the East Midlands with cocaine and cannabis. And when police arrested him, they found footage on his phone showing him using a digital machine to count cash and staying in expensive hotels. In one of the clips, Kevin was showing off luxury brands such as Givenchy and the drug dealer was also seen with a designer watch while laughing on camera. Kevin from Crosby was jailed for 16 years last week after it emerged that he supplied a Midlands-based gang with cocaine. He was wanted by the police at the time in relation to a separate drugs matter. Kevin was found guilty of conspiracy to supply Class A drugs after a trial and the sentence will begin after he serves two years of a four-year sentence for a different offence. That conviction related to conspiracy to supply Class A drugs, MDMA, and Class B drugs, cannabis. A police spokesman said that Kevin supplied cocaine from Liverpool while he was wanted by other police forces for a different situation. The fact he was wanted didn't deter him from continuing his life of crime. When he was arrested, officers found recordings on his phone showing his lifestyle, including staying in hotels, counting large sums of money on a cash counting machine, and officers recovered clothing from his home also when they executed a warrant that was worth thousands of pounds. The investigation identified Ashley Boyd and Clint Jones as well as the brains behind the business-like operation. Both men were part of an organised crime network. Boyd and Jones pleaded guilty to their parts in the operation earlier this year. Jones was part of the main Leicester suppliers. When officers executed a warrant at Jones's home, they found more than £57,000 in cash. During the enforcement, officers recovered cocaine, cannabis, cannabis plants, cash and designer items, including customised designer watches. Ashley Boyd from Leicester pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply Class A and B drugs and conspiracy to produce cannabis. He was sentenced to 10 years. Clint Jones, also from Leicester, has pleaded guilty for the same offence and jailed for nine years. In total, 15 people were jailed for over 100 years at Leicester Crown Court. East Midlands Special Operations Unit and the detective in charge of the case, Lee Hunt, said between these individuals, they will serve a lot of time in prison. The conviction and subsequent sentences show how seriously we and the courts take these crimes. These criminals are part of an organised network and operated not just in Leicester, Nottingham, Lincolnshire, but also Liverpool. During the enforcement, we executed more than 50 warrants across these counties and also cities. This was a significant operation for us, but our work doesn't end here. We know there is always someone waiting to fill in the gap and we will continue in our efforts to stop the misuse of drugs and carry out further operations of this nature to disrupt the criminal activity. One of the people convicted in this conspiracy was Dominic McNally and he was what the papers described as a bling-loving fugitive and he was one of the most wanted criminals as well. He was caught in a luxury strip club after being on the run from the police for six years, officers from the National Crime Agency are now trying their best to get him in front of British courts. He's one of many notorious gangsters and criminals captured by an elite team of police forces 
who were working round the clock to bring in these fugitives. They say dozens of wanted suspects were arrested under the success of Operation Captura, which was created to capture them. Dominic was detained by police after they raided at the Casa Massa strip club in Marbella in the early hours of February the 28th. The Formby fugitive is accused of being the ringleader of the massive drugs plot they expected to bank more than one billion every single month. Dominic has spent six years on the run after police found six kilos of cocaine hidden in a car in Crosby. In January 2014, the interception led to a prosecution that saw five men jailed for a combined total of 48 years. Dominic is accused of heading that drug network. During his time on the run, the 29-year-old had been subject to a major campaign to actually catch him. He was living in southern Spain and police actually went to the lengths of driving around with his mugshot to warn tourists on the Costa del Sol. They also said that he outlasted several Merseyside criminals that were subject of the same operation. So there's so many Merseyside criminals that run away to Spain that they made a whole operation that was mainly based on it. Make sure that we find them and bring them back to face justice and it doesn't matter how long it takes. We have had individuals who've been outstanding for 13 and more years but they've committed serious offences. We don't give up, we keep looking for them, we bring them back to face justice, it doesn't matter how long it takes. We're asking the public, whether they be holidaymakers, expats or the Spanish public, to give us information on those people that are wanted abroad and hiding. For the last nine years we've been working on Operation Captura to trace those fugitives that have fled to Spain. Some of these individuals have fled hoping that we'll forget about them, that they'll escape justice in the UK, and some do evade our justice for a number of years. But we do find them at the end of the day. We don't stop looking for them, and it doesn't matter how long it takes, we will bring them back. The Captura campaign has been fabulously successful. What I would say is if you are one of the remaining faces on there, one of the targets that we're looking for, give yourself up. Save yourself the grief of the Spanish or other police coming through your door at 5 or 6 a.m. in the morning. We will find you. We will bring you back to the UK and you will face justice. Spanish National Police raided what the National Crime Agency referred to as a strip club in the early hours of the morning, operation targeting the alleged cocaine trafficker. It was close to the centre of Marbella and the venue specialises in exclusive parties, according to its website. Following his arrest, he was taken to the north of Madrid, where they now will make attempts to actually bring him over to the UK to face justice. And as I said at the beginning of the video, the football agent for Paul Gascoigne, he was described by the media and the police as a key player in the gang of drug conspirators that was making cannabis and also importing cocaine. They also said in the paper that he polygraph tested some of his workers because he suspected them of stealing cannabis from the grows. Shane Whitfield, he was said to have played a leading role in the operation of cocaine and cannabis dealers and couriers, trading in kilo amounts worth hundreds of thousands of pounds. Others in the group were recently collectively jailed for more than 100 years. Whitfield from Oldby admitted conspiracy to supply Class A drugs and B drugs. They found more than 668 plants in this actual seizure. And there was at various different types of growth. This was found in a factory in Lime Kiln Way. The prosecution said at Leicester Crown Court that the 35-year-old suspected some of his cannabis workers were stealing from him. He arranged a polygraph tester to interview his workers regarding thefts of plants from a grow. The Crown's case was that Whitfield, a leading member of the conspiracy that ran from January 2018 until last year, he was said to have sourced the drugs from a Liverpool contact, Kevin Dunkarth, who he met at a boxing match. Whitfield arranged for large sums of cash to be transported and also consignments of at least five kilos to be brought back to Leicester. An onward distribution for the street value of the cocaine was estimated by police to be worth half a million. Phone analysis showed that Whitfield arranged for drug runs to Boston and also Nottingham. Judge Nicholas Dean, he had previously sentenced to other conspirators, and many of whom were convicted after the trial. The defence solicitor, Mr Hughes, said that Whitfield was a father of two, and he was acting totally out of character, and had submitted numerous cuttings and testimonials 
Of his activities over the past 14 years, some references were also provided by guards at the prison where he was on remand. They said that he was given trusted jobs and the barrister said that Whitfield made a cataclysmic error when trying to prop up legitimate business activities by resorting to crime. Speaking after the case, Detective Lee Hunt said that Whitfield was one of three men behind the million pound operation. All those involved chose to supply Class A drugs and had no qualms about doing so. They profited from their crimes and actions and could have led to the breakdown of family relationships. And the police also said that these operations will continue. So this is just a long list of recent big seizures and cases that have been coming out since Encro. But this is just another example of how things can escalate from one phone being seized they then find all these different things that come from it maybe not encro related but definitely shows that technology can sometimes be the thing that gets you convicted so i really appreciate you joining me today and i hope everybody's having a productive day i'll be back again very soon with some more news and please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe peace